Look, okay, he's going after it. Here, this one. Yeah, so I was trying to be gentle with him, and he wasn't taking it, and then you just slap him in the face with it a little bit. So I got some fish, and I got some garter snakes, and we're going to feed the fish to the garter snake. And these are actually pretty cool. So if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I have a couple videos on these guys, and these are just some northern common garter snakes. I got these really just right at the pet store, at the pet store I go to. And they had them for 15 bucks each, so I just got however many they had in the cage at the time, and that was four. So I got a nice group of four, and I just put them in this little cage, or this tank. They eat great, and I feed them fish. I only feed them fish right now, just because I don't want to waste any money on mice with them, because they're eating fish. And honestly, I originally got them as a... I was going to feed my baby dry mark on, like the black tail Kribos. I was going to feed them to them. Just because they're so cheap. Yeah, I just kind of figured I had this extra tank. Might as well set them up. I have a heat mat. So, I knew they would eat the fish. So I start feeding them. And then they're growing pretty quick. I started, I'm feeding them twice a week. Because they'll take down like two fish. Or really, two, three fish at a time. And then, uh, yeah. I might just try and fatten them up really quick. And then uh, feed them to my dry mark on. That way they get a bigger meal. So $15... And then, like, this, oh, he just dropped his fish. If you see this fish right here, like, I get this at the at the store for hella cheap. So it really costs nothing to to hold them in this tank. It's just $15, and then I'll raise them up as quick as I can, and I don't care if they grow hella quick, because I'd prefer them to. And then I'll feed them to my other snakes. Or if they just continue to grow on me and I enjoy keep them, then, then I keep the snakes. See? So... They eat super easy. I mean, it's really no hassle. That one's in shed. All three of them just shed. <clears throat> just shed. They're all pretty much in like the same cycle because as soon as I got them, they all shed within a few days. And then all three of them shed right now. And that's the last one. You can see his eyes are foggy. Okay, so right now, one, two, three, all four of them are eating this one. Just finished. So let's see if I can offer him one more. This is Soldier. He's the most important one of them all. Might take a s- oh, look at that. So you can see that other fish right here, pretty big. This guy's the biggest one out of all of them. And he's my favorite one because he eats the most out of all of them. And he's just the biggest. So I fed him for the first two weeks. I was I was putting the uh, the parasite remover on the fish and then eating it. And then they were eating it. So if they had anything, hopefully that worked out. There was some, some stuck shed. Look at There's some stuck shed on that piece that is eaten, that is swallowing. Some other ones are finishing up, so let's see if we can get another fish down. So this one, he's on his third one right now. So that's the biggest one, and clearly he's the best eater. He's the fastest eater. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this one that's in shed to eat. No, he should take it now. Nope. Eat it, fucker. Come on. Yeah, surprisingly he's not. So he looks like he's gonna go after it. So now I wanna give him a bigger one. Alright, 
no, yeah, there we go. Now I'm messing with him a little bit. So I was trying to be gentle the whole time with him. Look, he's going after it. Here, this one. Yeah, so I was trying to be gentle with him, and he wasn't taking it, and then you just slap him in the face with it a little bit, and then he'll bite after it. One thing I learned about these garter snakes is they love to eat, and I love a snake that loves to eat, which only makes me want to keep them. But at the same time, oh, oh, this one dropped his fish, he's going after another one. Here, this one. Over here, over here, yeah, over here. I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to make you work for it. Here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Look at those two in the corner too. <laughs> Shake. Yeah, feeding was pretty fun. Definitely, gotta say. It's like a little feeding frenzy every single time. I put them in a bowl. I have a video actually where I put them all in a bowl. They pick it out. This one I'm feeding it one by one. Oh, why'd you drop it? No. Watch. He, oh, he almost bit him. Sometimes I've had one since they all kind of smell like fish. It bit another one. Or sometimes they'll latch onto the same one. And then you just gotta shake them off or something. Or grab another piece of fish and then slap one in the face with it. Uh, he doesn't want it no more. Whatever. Cool thing about these little fish, too, is whenever the garter snakes, whatever I have left over, it just goes to the little baby black tail Kribos. Or the yellow tail Kribo. Because that one's eating great. You know what? Maybe I'll pull that one out give that one a fish really quick. Just so you guys can see how good it's eating. Because she's doing great now. Last time you guys saw her, she didn't eat on camera, but... You guys just saw how she was doing, um, and I pulled her out. But yeah, I could feed her really quick. You can see how good she's eating. She's eating pinkies, fish. She's a monster. Yeah. Okay, so that should be all of them. I think they're all pretty much done eating. I'm gonna change their water, and then they'll be good to go. Right. <laughs> okay, so the paper needs to be clean, but I'll let them rest tonight, and then I'll clean it from there. So I'll clean it tomorrow. You guys don't need to see that, at least for tomorrow's, because I'll just pull them out, change the paper real quick. That's real simple. So, let's put these guys back up, and then uh, I'll show you a little yellow tail real quick.